Well, every week visitors flock to Plains and they hope to be able to catch Sunday service at the Baptist Church there. You can typically find former President Jimmy Carter attending the church service. Now those attending church are not only getting a holy experience, but a historical one as well. Doug Richards explains. These days getting into church to see Jimmy Carter teach Sunday school can require two days worth of patience. Two weeks ago, we got here, oh, about 4, 15, 4, 30, and we were about 150 people who didn't make it in. But now there is another reason to visit, other than its most famous member. My question to you this morning, those who came so far, was it your passion for JC, or was it your passion for JC? That's Tony Loudon, Maranatha Baptist Church's new and first African-American pastor. It's history making, I understand that. Maranatha Baptist Church grew out of racial strife. On the eve of Carter's election in 1976, Pastor Clennon King of nearby Albany asked to join Plains Baptist Church. Is the door open? While Carter was okay with that, others were not. The deacons voted to close the church's doors two days before Carter's election, hoping to stop the vote. Carter and others would start Maranatha in protest, but the church would remain mostly white with white leadership until earlier this year when President Carter left Pastor Loudon a phone message. Like Plains and we like you, we'd like you to come and be with us. We look forward to it. Thank you very much for coming. It's Jimmy Carter. Bye-bye. That's what my wife said. <laughs> this assignment, I didn't see it coming. I didn't plan for it. And those are the type of plans that when God steps in it, and you, you know that there's no way I could have gotten here in the South, be the pastor of this church with President Carter without God's help. Tony Loudon grew up poor in Philadelphia, worked with Governor Nathan Deal on prison reform. He has a young daughter who loves Paw Patrol and he's still getting used to living below the gnat line in Georgia. Yes, we may have to baptize these gnats. <laughs> Members we spoke with say the church has grown with Loudon's arrival. His impassioned preaching surprised those who are only really sticking around for a photo with President Carter and his wife Rosalind. And help those who are falling below the social safety net. And he thinks he's won the approval of one very important member in the front row. There's a possibility if he decides to go to heaven and they keep me here, I'll be his last appointment. <laughs> so but I'm hoping that he gives me 10 more years because I promised him 10 years here as well. A new voice in a town once broken apart from racial tension. To God be the glory for all the things he's done. That's a great story, isn't it? That is a great story. I went down to Plains uh, to cover President Carter a couple of years ago, and I showed up about 5.30 a.m., 6 a.m. I was greeted like a rock star, not because anybody watched 11 Alive. I had bug spray. <laughs> I was the only one to have bug spray, uh, and it was like I had, yes. you know, uh, South African Krugerons that I was <laughs> handing out to everybody. Below the gnat line with bug spray. Here. There were plumes of gnats. If you've never been down there, if you just hang out in Atlanta, it is staggering. It is, it is awful. And if you don't take the bug spray, you can't enjoy the experience and you won't stand in line more than 10 minutes, I promise. All right, great story from Doug Richards. There's more for you about it on 11alive.com.